That's why the Bible says, blessed are the poor in heart, for they will see God. See, this is why we need to admit to ourselves and say, you know what? I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord, because I have not been surrendering my life totally to you and to the will of God. Instead, we're making vows to God and try to make God bend to our will instead of surrendering to his will. The hardest thing about surrender is what? Trust. The hardest thing about surrendering to God is trusting to trusting in God. Why? Because that takes faith. But as we see how God brought us through our job, as we see how God brought us through school, as you see how God has blessed our family, as you see how, how God has paid our bills, as we see how God has helped us overcome and transform our lives, we have all of this experience with God. And God always has an 800 credit score. Amen? What's the solution? Genuine faith. Genuine faith. Accept the promises that God has already gave to us and walk in that promise. For God so loved the world. Accepting God's love early in the morning. Accepting God's grace and God's forgiveness. Walking in the promises that God has already gave us. I will never leave you nor forsake you in the midst of the trial, in the midst of school, in the midst of a sickness, in the midst of diabetes, in the midst of pain, in the midst of a lost mother, in the in the midst of all these things, in the midst of medical school, in the midst of a car accident, in the midst of back pains, in the midst of, of, of not being able to find a loved one or a spouse, in the midst of trying to get through school. In the midst of all these things, in the midst of bills, in the midst of kids, in the midst of divorce, in the midst of addiction, God is saying, I am with you. I am with you. I love you. For by grace you have been saved. I sent my son to die in the world so you could have life eternally. And if you would just trust in Jesus, believe in Jesus, you're going to have power today to overcome.